so here's the container. As you can tell, I've already kind of cut off these pieces from the lid, as you can see. Um, I put some metal, I don't know how well you can see it. There's some metal right here and like right there. And then I use a glue gun to just kind of make it really quick. And then I put the tape just to hope it so the glue will harden. And once the glue's hardened, I can take it off. Or I could even go and bolt on some pieces of wood if I want to make it look fancy or whatever. But maybe later. Uh, let me show you the tools. So here's some of the tools. Dog, get out of the way. Uh, there's a grinder because I use the grinder to cut the plastic. I apologize for my dog walking through. Um, and then the file in the middle so that you can file the plastic off to make it smooth. <laughs> and then there's a glue gun and the glue sticks. And then I used the drill to drill all the holes so I could put the wire on there. And then uh, I used a Sharpie to uh, make my squares. I just used an actual piece of blank paper from your printer to make the squares. And then I just line them out with the marker, cut them with the blade that's right there next to the glue gun. And then I don't have a picture of that, but there's chicken wire that I use. You can see. That's the smallest chicken wire that I have. I have a couple different sizes. So I use that, cut it, taped it, glued it. And then I'm going to reuse these pieces right here for when I put them inside for here. And I'm going to put it inside this incubator after I clean it out really good. Let me show you. Just put them down there so it's in there. And then you can put your food bowl, water bowl, and then I have the shavings in the bottom. Um, I'm gonna put, uh, what are they called? The PP pads I use for dogs and stuff. I'm gonna line it with that first and then put those in and then put my shavings on top. And then she'll be ready to put my um, uh, chicks in. Um, like I said, here's the water, there's the feeder, there's the water. I got the crumble to start with so that they have you know something to keep them and you know have something to eat ah, sorry and then here's my 75 watt bulb that I just got from um, Home Depot you can buy from any hardware store you can even go in any cent store if you want and then this I have this heat lamp right here I have two of them one's gonna have the light bulb and then the other one's gonna have the, the heat element in it and then pretty much that's it so you get everything in there, put your lid back on. This one's good because it has those to, to clamp on, if it does or not, <laughs> whatever. And then pretty much that's it.